Report, brought to you by The Prudential. Peace of mind. It comes with every piece of The Rock. The Rockets were down by nine. They closed the half on a 12-2 run led by Clyde Drexler, who tops everybody in the first half with 17 points. And they take a one-point lead in pursuit of a 3-0 lead in the series, 54-53 at halftime. Bob Costas back at the summit. We'll be joined by Tom Hanks in our next segment. But right now, we bring in the Suns' Charles Barkley, who joins us from Philadelphia. Charles, I would imagine you can't get over the thought that it should be your Phoenix Suns here, not the Houston Rockets after all. You had them down 3-1 with two of the last three on your home floor, and you were up 15 points at home in game seven, and it slipped away. Well, Bob, it was very disappointing, but I felt like uh, when I sit down and analyze the series, I think the Houston had the better team. They have the best uh, basketball player in the world. They play great defense, and their role players have been terrific. Uh, the difference in the playoff for them have been Robert Hoare and Sam Cassell. They have been unbelievable. Even if Michael Jordan comes back to something like his old form, is Akeem now established as the best player in the game? Well, no disrespect to Michael. I don't think Michael can ever return to the level that he was. I don't think any player can lead basketball for two years and come back and be as good as he was. I think that's impossible. Let's talk about...